All right, welcome to week four, big three. We're in Newark. We've had some unbelievable games. There's Brick City right there. Inside this cool building, sold out crowd, 10,000. Here's what we got coming up. First, we got aliens, triplets, but then power, ball hogs, followed by killer threes looking for their first win and bivouac. What's up, everybody? I'm Brian Scalabrini alongside Reggie Theus. And Reggie, you know, we got this game with the aliens. They got to figure out a way to continue to find wins with Millsap Bow. It seemed like last week they had great contributions from Ebanks. But first, let's go over to triplets. No Joe Johnson last week, yeah. no problem. Pargo brothers, really, <laughs> they, they delivered. What'd you like about what you saw from them? You know, brothers brothers stick together. No question. <laughs> and they came out, they got over 40 points between the two of them. Uh, Triplets have so many places they can go to score. Joe's not only not scoring a lot this year, but he's also one of the top in the league in assists. So he's passing the ball around. They're getting their job done. They just got a lot of weapons. Yeah, I, I really think that the, the reason they play well is when the part when Jeremy Pargo makes shots. It's a it's a big difference maker. Everyone has all eyes on Joe Johnson, but really to me it's about the Pargos. But Rachel, it's with the man of in the hour, Joe Johnson. Thanks, Brian. Joe, you missed last week, but your your teammates stepped up. The Pargo brothers did amazing. What do you think about the game last week? Uh, I thought the game was amazing. It was a great team effort, but it was a little pressure on the Pargo. You see they came out and put up a great performance, so I was proud of them. You guys are 2-1 and one right now. You're heading in to midway through this big three season. How important is every win, and what do you guys plan to do today? Every win is very important. Uh, we lost our first game like we did last season, and we still made it to the championship game. So uh, we're just trying to keep it rolling. Thanks, Joe. Good Thank luck you. today. Thank you. All right, thanks, Rachel. All right, let's go to Aliens, who they had to pick up a guy with Millsap out. They went to Devin Ebanks, a guy who is familiar with the big three. Well, he's got a jump shot. He puts it on the floor. He can see from distance. He's got good size. And obviously takes the ball to the basket. He's got a, a plethora of ways to score the basketball. And it's been a, bit, a solid pickup for him. Yeah, and coach over there, Rick Mahorn. He's got a good team. Unfortunate what happened to Paul Millsap in week one, but they had a great win week two. I'm, I'm really interested to see how they respond. And guess whose birthday it is today? Lisa Leslie. And at the big three, they hook you up. They never hook <laughs> me up or you up, but they hook up Lisa Leslie. Take a look at that birthday cake, sparklers. Listen, the only birthday we would get is in the in the hallway in the back with a, <laughs> you get a, a pat on the back say happy birthday, dude. <laughs> look at that. But the Hall of Famer Lisa Leslie, big three is known for their legendary birthday cakes. And there you see her right there. Jeff, how you doing? All right. We'll go live and hear what she's talking about. Our right. North, our starters for game number four for triplets, Joe Johnson. Division okay? Interesting. All right, so when you, when you see this team and you're going against a Joe Johnson who has the ball in his hands, how do you slow down a team like the triplets? Well, here's the thing. You, you, you really do have to stop Joe first. And that's the problem because Pargo Brothers both, they shoot the ball with, with, with distance. And also teams in the, in the big three, they want to work on mismatches. The problem is when you switch Jeremy onto a bigger guy, they can't even post him up because he's so strong with the lower body. Good executing team. Here's Pargo from three to pick up where he left off. Short with it. Now Jefferson saves it back to Pargo right inside. Ayers with the layup. Ayers has been solid for him also. In yeah. the middle, plugging it up. See, but for me in this game, I go straight to Al Jefferson every time, but he's got to get the ball lower in the post because that little, that little, that little snake he's got, it's, it's a weapon. Yeah, no, I mean, Al Jefferson, I played with him in Boston. He's impossible to stop. Yeah, yeah. I coached him in Minnesota, so I've seen that jump hook, jump hook many times. Joe Johnson with the flare. Got the ISO Joe jersey on right now. Over to Pargo. Pargo, aggressive drive. Finishes with the left. Now, now see, for me, that's trusting your teammates. Joe had an easy bucket. Could have taken him down low, but he kicks it out and let Pargo do his thing. He thinks hero of last week's game. There's a pull-up. He's short with it. Ayers with the rebound, the clear over to Joe in the corner. Loves that corner. Pargo on the four-point circle. Comes off that ball screen, attacking downhill. Throws it up. Ayers, little bump, and that's going to count. 
so nice. Pargo just used that pick and roll so perfectly. Watch him how he drags the big out just a little bit to open the space up, give a little gap so there's no recovery. It's amazing, and you coach uh, younger players. It's just something that simple yeah. is sometimes lost on the younger players, but Pargo has been doing it for years. Well, you know, pick and roll is an art. And no you question. You have to teach guys. The biggest thing in pick and roll, I'm not running pick and roll for you to pass the ball. I'm running pick and roll for you to score. If you score, if you're a turn the corner guy, then the floor opens up. And that's just what Pargo, he scores so many buckets. Every time he comes out pick and roll, the defense has to be there. All right, big out on the post. Harris starting to take away that left shoulder on the face up, goes up with it. Long. Joe the recovery. Pargo looking to attack. There's that pick and roll again. They get the mismatch going inside. Ayers wastes no time. Oh, he airmails one. Jefferson gets it back. Oh, rolls right out. Joe really moving that ball early. Pargo in the corner. Rises up, sticks it. See, Scalabrini, that's what you know. Joe is such a pro. Big time. He, he didn't play last week. He's letting the game come to him. He's not trying to just jump in the game and take over right away. That's his smart basketball. Busan gets baseline. Banks takes it back right. That bounced off. Good defense by Pargo. Simple, simple. Size him up, hand down, jumper in your face. Joe creates some space off that screen. Oh, yeah, look at Joe. Remember, these guys used to be teammates. We, first year, they played together, and Joe sticks a three. He knew exactly what he wanted to do when he had Al Jefferson on him. He's, got, he's such in such control. What people don't really understand about Joe, he's a huge dude. Oh, you, like, you, his shoulders are tw about your, my shoulder and your shoulders put together. Yeah, yeah, I, I know because you run into guys in the big three, and right. size always isn't the thing. But you run into Joe Johnson, it's a wall. Oh, like no, no. You're it, it, as strong as any Reggie Evans, Ayers. You can't move him if he wants his spot. Joe Johnson, when he goes through the door, he turns sideways. <laughs> he is so strong. Rachel, what's going on? I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. We just hit 1.2 million on the X Street. So we are slowly climbing here. We also have some YouTubers and creators who are also simultaneously showing the live streams. We have Nick Merckx and Kenny Beecham also sharing the stream. So that's super exciting. Shout out to both of them. But yeah, chat, turn up. Let us know what you want to see. The game is off to a hot start. And also make sure to let Lisa know Happy birthday. It's her birthday. Yeah, Few she drops in the chat sometimes, so she will see this. For sure. Few let things. her know. Give her a happy birthday. Rachel, last week you asked me if I could tie your tie. So I didn't tie your tie. So who <laughs> tied your tie? Okay, listen. My tie was shipped to me like this, so I could simply put it over my head and tighten it because I've never worn a tie before, nor do I know how to tie one. So, hey, but luckily, you're talking we're to here. the You're talking to the clip-on king right here. And I don't even wear ties anymore. <laughs> let, me, let me guess. So this is, so right earlier I we don't had... envy how you guys wear these suits, though. They're not the most comfortable. No, like, it's, yeah. So we're going away from that. So earlier, <laughs> Earlier, Nancy Lieberman, she said, go check out my statue. That was a humble brag by Rachel. She said it was shipped to me. So, like, shipped to me, our yes. clothes, we go buy. Yes. She gets her clothes shipped to her. Yes. Humble brag all the way. All right, Joe in the corner. Oh, quintessential Joe Johnson. And this is turning ugly quickly. He banks up top. Gets the switch. And it's what you were talking about, Pargo in the post. See, look, look at the body. He, he couldn't even move him off the line yeah. right there. He, he's such strong, so strong in his lower body. And Joe finding space. So patient with the dribble. Ayers rolls out. Oh, so Joe again. This is incredible. There's no answer for that. There's no answer for no. triplets right now. Well, they're a scrappy team, but they just don't have enough when it comes to their offense or their defense. The matchup, their ma matchup mix, mix, mix. Mix-ups all over the floor. Hey! Now Jefferson on the glass. Puts it in. And not only that, Reggie, but balance. Joe with nine, Pargo with five, Ayers with five. Yeah. And it's a tough team right here. And, and that starts with Joe not coming in the game and moving the ball early. You're right. Watch this Joe Johnson. So smooth, hands in the right place, guide hand, finish easy, in his spot, no hesitation. So smooth, so smooth. So Gennaro and Jamario Moon check in. Okay, so see what happens here. Now, you know, 
Gennaro comes in, you still got a score. For sure. Moon, you still got athleticism, and then you got Joe. So you still got guys that can score the ball. There's still matchup problems all over the floor. I saw Joe will get it, get it a shot whenever he wants. Comes up top on the ISO. Pretty good defense. Millsap, a little overzealous. He, that, there's, a, there's nothing you can do with that. So good. That is his signature. And, and right away, Joe dapped him up and yeah. said, that's good work, young yeah. fella. Yeah, that's but it's just, it's just there's some, there's sometimes you just can't stop that string music from playing. Pros, pros, get you where they want you to go and then do what they do. That dribble, how many times have we seen this? Back down, body to body, create space and get the jumper. Bullet clears it. Neil Sapp's gonna go to the line for one shot for two points. It's still a sight, like, you know what? The one thing about the big three, and we had 10,000 people show up and everywhere we're going, so it's a live crowd, but there was a battle in the game before us. Yes. Jeff Teague, Isaiah Briscoe, Isaiah Briscoe at 37. They, they were jawing all day. At the end, you know, they, 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 they dapped it up. All, all respect for each other's game. You're seeing that in this game as well with Joe. There's so many nuances to the big three. The way you win games down the stretch. And I think a lot of times you hear people say, oh, I don't like this and that because they're all friends. Yeah. Well, when, you, when you're here, we're all friends. Yeah. But when we're out here, we're competing. Oh, no, that's... Dar Darnell Jackson and Reggie Evans were going yeah. at it. Yeah. All, all love and respect. You know, but the game is a war. But, but that's what you miss most when you don't play. Correct. Is, is, is that it's camaraderie, bad. but that those challenges. For sure. Aside from that, it's a locker room. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Abraham Millsap knocks down the 15-footer, and you know, no lead is safe in the big three, no matter what you got. Let's see if Jeremy Pargo sort of takes over with Joe Johnson on the bench, keeping that dribble alive, gets his shoulders down, easy layup. You see the spacing just now. His brother in the corner, Moon on this side. They left the whole side to himself. There's no way to guard that because he's got the entire side of the court to play with. Moon clears it. Moon likes that corner three. Flips the rim. Millsap in the corner. Sticks it right there. Getting back into this game. 23-11. Remember, folks, 25 is halftime. So another bucket and triplets going to the half. Looking to get it to Moon. Does. A little split game on the weak side. Good action. Rises up. And we're going to the half. 26 11. Let's take a look at this again. Just a little bit of a fade action. Hits him on the numbers. On time, on target. Rachel, what's going on over there with the triplets? All good, it seems like. Lisa, first off, happy birthday. I'm excited that you are spending it here at the Big Three. Your team is off to a hot start. Joe seems like he didn't take any days off, even though he missed last week. How do you think of his play? Uh, I thought his play was great. Look, we have a game plan. No matter how great the Parco brothers play, they were the player of the week. Joe is our leader, and we're happy to have him back. What is your guys' mindset getting into this, like, midway through the Big Three? Our idea is just about our movement our solid defense and then just trying to find the mismatches every single game there's going to be a different mismatch it's a chess match and that's what i live for i'm not teaching these men how to play i'm just giving them little pieces that can help us to be successful but all the credit goes to my team they work hard they're professionals they show up and we're here to win the music turned up for you the game plan seems to be working good luck in the second half hi mom love you All right, thanks, Rachel. Well, it's all triplets early. We're talking about balance scoring. 10 from Joe, 10 from Pargo. These guys are making it happen. Up big at the half. 26-11 in week four of the big three. Ebanks has got to drive the ball. We got, we got to put pressure on him. 
No sap knocks down another one. No sap five points in the first half. Talking Obviously a, taking it personal. Talking a little bit. <laughs> Here's Fargo downhill, uses his body, seals, scores it. See, that's one of those opportunities where Al Jefferson could have gone all the way over to help on that side. And if you had to leave, if you had to leave airs open, even though he can shoot. Al Jefferson could have been there to actually try to help him out, even though Ayers can shoot the jump. He's got to still help defense. No sap again. Loves that mid range. I think it's a little about, like, uh, remember old Andre Miller? Like wow. old Andre wow. Miller? No, you don't know anything about no, Andre Miller. No, I like no, Andre no. Miller. I'm no, just saying with the mid range anything. jump shots. Yeah. yeah. That's before your time. No, I, I like Andre Miller. Turnover here. Corner three, takes it. They needed that one. That's thing you said earlier. You're never out of the game no, in the big three. No, you can string together some stops. You know, get a couple turnovers. Yeah, you can get back into this game. Listen, the, the key to the big three is being in the penalty in the second half. And yep. that's exactly what happened to Trilogy in the game before this. Correct, that came with They right did here. not utilize the situation. They should have just let the guy score, take the ball out of bounds instead of fouling. And they could have called timeout at the same time. The, the free throws did get come back to bite them. Yes. This offensive foul on Jeff Ayers. Ten-point game, which is not a lot in the big three. You can come back from this. There's the switch. Millsap again at the top. Comes off. Pump face. Get that, fouled. That's where their advantage is, Brand. Pick and roll. Get errors in a pick and roll. Millsap, he can't guard Millsap. What, what has to happen is on the, on the screen, the big has to roll immediately because that drags the other guy with him. If not, you got to be able to make the pass inside. And that's nine points for Abraham Millsap in the first half, or in the second half. Now look at him, he's pumped up. Fargo again, uses his body. Snakes around, goes up, no foul. That late whistle, they're going to call it. This might be. With, hey, would, you, would you bring the fire with the sides advantage, even though the quickness advantage? On that one, probably. Probably not, actually. No, just give up the two. It, it, Save yeah. it. Well, you know, that's it's a good a, question. A I'll, tell you why it's a t I'll tell you why it's good, because most of, first of all, most of can't guard him out there, but from the free throw line in, you got a half a chance. Well, that's two points for Pargo. Anybody other than Al Jefferson, I probably would have done. All right, Bill Sapp comes off the screen, gets that switch you were talking about, step back, pump fake, goes back to Al Jefferson. Bill Sapp, pump fake again, just four on the clock. Here's Ebanks, pulls up from three, short. Bill Sapp keeps it alive. He's playing his butt off right here. Looking inside, he thinks and that's that thing you were talking about with him. Pargo, Pargo for three. You can't post him. No, it's really hard. He's strong, he's quick. Low to the ground and strong. Millsap gets the screen, goes up for three. Count it. That's 12. Every time they go pick and roll, if the big rolls immediately, Millsap is going to have a look at the bucket. Millsap's really playing here. Ooh, good finish. It goes off. No whistle, but airs goes right to the basket. Come on now. That's a tough fall for, for Al Jefferson. It is. That's a tough fall there. You know, the response you, by the aliens. When he goes up, he's he he falls pretty hard and obviously Tripp just come back and tip it in. Right now, the energy level is, and the momentum is completely triplets. Momentum of the game. Aliens got to have a little more fight than this, Brian. I think Joe will start to take over right here. Take over, Joe. You got ISO, yeah, Joe, ISO and take Joe. over, Joe. And here he goes. Get to his spots. Rises up. Short with it. Rebound E Banks, Josiah Millsap. E Banks puts it on the floor. Everybody reacts, but E Banks comes up short, gets it back, and finish. No matter what game you're playing, pick up ball, three on three, five on five, it's all about paint touches. Body up, finish. 
All right, Triplet's going to call a timeout just to make sure you were buying. We only got a seven point lead here. Coach Reggie Theus, Brian Scalabrini here with Reggie Theus, and you were a coach in the big three. Yeah. And what, how different was it initially? You know, what people don't understand, they got to give the, the big three a lot of respect. I tell guys all the time, you gotta, you got to be in shape and you got to bring it. There's no place to hide on the floor. And every game, you have to come, you have to play offense and you got to turn around and play defense right away. Uh, the strategies down the stretch is really about being in the penalty in the second half. And that is key. We lost the game early when my, my first year because we didn't understand the rules. Mm -hmm. And I think that's exactly what happened to Trilogy uh, in, in the game before this. Uh, when, when you got to this league and you had your team, was it trying to figure out the identity in an eight-week season is pretty tough because, you know, if you lose three games off the jump, yeah. you're in trouble. Listen, it's a hold and grab league. <laughs> you know, that's why you should have done a lot better, by the way. <laughs> no, no, no. So when you said you can't hide, that's what happened. When I got when I got to the big three, you know, everyone thinks every player thinks they're a good player. Then they get here, and I started realizing, like, you know, I think I was really good because I had Kevin Garnett behind me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Kevin Garnett made a lot of people good. <laughs> he, he, I was like, oh. No, I'm actually not a good defensive player at all. When I guarded guys and they got by me, like, you know, big ticket behind me was, made a big difference. <laughs> when you play in the big three, if you don't settle, mm -hmm. if you don't take flyers, I, I think that in, in no matter what game you're playing, you got to stay within yourself. you got to know your team and stay within yourself, and that's, what's, that's what key is. Right now, what we've seen with aliens is they have the ability to get the ball to the bucket and pick and roll. They should be going pick and roll every single time. Every time that they can get... Um, airs in a pick and roll, they should be taken. And that's exactly what they do. Go, gets his spot, pick, pulls up. Over to Pargo, Pargo kicks it back to Joe. Iso Joe for three. Oh, great, great ball movement. Paint touches. Paint right. touches. Two of them on that play. Paint touches. And the pick and roll you liked with airs. You have to remember, Scout, in, in basketball, there's a three-man side and a two-man side. Always, offense. yeah. So now we're just playing with, the, with the, basically a two-man side and a one-man side. So if you get paint touches, you drive and you keep the floor space, there's always going to be shots out there. Late whistle. Foul on Joe Johnson. Easy post up. Got a little, little push on the backside. So Joe Johnson and Jeremy Pargo, they got 28, 14 combined of the 35 for the triplets. There's at the screen. Looking for the mismatch. And here's Iso Joe up top in his bag. Backs it down, goes up, misses, gets it back. No good. Bill Sapp on the back down, nothing there. It's going to be triplets ball. You just talked about you just talked about the the offense of Joe Johnson and Pargo, right here, bodying up. You don't have to give ground. Somewhere you got to draw a line in the sand. Pargo comes over, get a little help. I thought it was, I actually thought it was out on aliens. Yeah, Lisa was going to challenge. She decided not too late. He makes the shot. Narrow. See, that's settling. That's that what is, I mean when I call yeah. settling. That's settling for a shot when you don't have to. Margo with that step back. That's his money shot. Pargo makes it look easy. You got a little space, a little dip, step back, money. Roll it. Quiet first half. And there he goes, right to the basket. You have a size advantage, you got to take advantage of it. Did a good job of protecting the ball as he drove the ball. As Pargo flew right off his body. Take that pick and roll again. Pargo, step back. That's a setup. That's he a setup. He had, he a, had layup. a layup. It's a yeah. setup. You see it a lot in today's game. <laughs> Millsap turns the corner, goes up. That's going to be off, and he'll get one shot to make for two points. You know, so to start this, it was all three Millsap brothers, 
Mm -hmm. Paul Millsap was incredible yes. week one. And the game was at 47. He just had a, one wrong step. He, and he was playing great. I was really excited about seeing him grow in this league. And it is hard to play well your first week out. Yeah. And he just controlled the game, controlled pace. He was really good. It's unfortunate, but his brothers are, you know, picking up the slack, and the rest of these guys are picking up the slack. You know, that, that, that injury is, a, you know, is an age injury. Yeah. That, that, that happens to guys after there's only so much elasticity in those uh, Achilles areas. Joe Johnson on the post. He's going to get fouled. Another underrated aspect of ISO Joe's game is his, his block work. Well, what's underrated is his ability to pass the ball. You know, he's one of the top in the league in assists with all the scoring that he does. And that, you know, that's because he's a smart player. He utilizes it. And the thing I like most about it is Lisa Leslie, no matter what's going on on the floor, she says, Joe is our leader. That right there is exactly what I'm talking about. Space the floor, backing down to the corner. Didn't force it, find the open guy. Bucket. Yeah, simple basketball. Drew two. And that's a wide open shot for German, for you, Gennaro Pargo. You got three guys on the floor that can get 20 at any, any moment in the game right now. Man, it's incredible. That's the eighth three pointer for triplets. It's a quick 41 31. They're really shooting it well today, but it's, I think you're right. It's all about the passing that makes the difference. Spacing. Spacing. So this is uh, interesting. In other leagues, this would not be a shot. They would call this side out. But in this league, if you can do that swim through and go up, they call that a shot, a shooting foul. I think that's the way it should be called. That's because you're a scorer. <laughs> so this is, what, this, truth to that. this is what you were talking about. So the triplets right now, they have six fouls. On the free throws made, the, Aliens would get the ball back. Right. The game was close. It makes all the difference in the world. Ooh, Fargo's getting in his bag. Now there's a step back. Oh, timeout. That's the 9-3. Don't get it twisted. Older brother, he can do work too. Dusan for four. That's going to be short. Fargo looking for three, three number 10. That's 10. 10 threes. That's got to be a big three record. They are not going to let Lisa Leslie down on her birthday. That is for sure. Millsap goes downhill. No foul. Smart decision by Gennaro. And this is game point. Will they end it on a three? They already got ten of them. Jeremy Pargos. Gennaro slips out. Rises up. Ooh. Short, Millsap rebound. He'll go up for three. Gennaro gets it back over to his brother. Back to his brother again. No good. You don't have a problem with these ones, right, Reggie? No, this is, this is when you're supposed to shoot it. Yep. <laughs> Millsap inside, simple, two points. Trying to chip away. We saw a 10-point lead get walked down just a game ago. Oh, to put it away. Oh, oh, the oh, is in the building. Jeremy Pargo. Jeremy Pargo. Jeremy Pargo. 